go. Tom Gladwell fighting out of the University of Newcastle. Hopefully we'll see some of them in action coming up now. And once more out of the Leeds Beckett University Thai boxing team, we have one Ben Conway. This fight being contested at 73 kilograms. Both men looking very lean, very good shape. Yeah, Conway with the height advantage, tall, long arms. And that's, that's what he said to me, that is how he likes to fight. He likes to fight long, he likes to fight rangy. He said he's got a very awkward style. He says he likes to think of himself perhaps reminiscent of an Israel Adesanya or a Yuri Prohaska. Oh, OK. I think Gladwell here is going to try and get on the inside, obviously. Absolutely, he takes him down. Counters the low kick, uh, the roundhouse with the low kick. Very fast pace. Again, these men throw him with conviction. Right hand goes through for Gladwell. In the clinch there, strong strong knees. Ben leading off with That's a couple a nice of kicks. right head kick there. Another rear kick from Conway. Yeah, Conway's kicks are looking really sharp. Uh, he threw a, a left switch kick earlier really, really fast. There we go. Solid cross to the body from Gladwell. There's a, a big right body kick there. Ben stays up on his feet there, doesn't allow himself to get swept. Yeah, nice balance there from Conway. There we go, he's faking that left kick, he's just twitching the hip, making Gladwell think it's coming there, and he's coming over with a nice right low kick there as Conway. Gladwell though, he's doing well, Ooh, he's coming strikes. Conway being backed up in the corner, Gladwell look, is looking content to box with him. He wants to get on the inside and throw some leather. Two nice right kicks there. Conway very happy to be on the outside throwing those kicks. Gladwell throws one of his own. Again, and maybe a much more measured fight. And there we go. End of the round there. Slight apology for the ever so late strike. I don't know. He, he, he did say sorry afterwards. He it's did. okay. <laughs> Good first round there though, Conway landing some really nice kicks from distance. You can see obviously what his game is as you said to start. He's trying to keep his distance, land those big body kicks. Gladwell trying to get close, land those punches. He, he landed a really nice left hook coming in. Absolutely, um, it's your classic kicker, kicker versus boxer isn't it? Exactly, yeah, it's just whether Gladwell, can he set up, you know, can he set up with a, a low kick or something to get him on that inside rather than just coming in with strikes, just coming in with punches? Absolutely. And to be fair, I think in, in terms of any criticisms you could possibly throw their way, you basically just got to look at what the other corner is doing. You know, you'd say that Conway maybe want to mix in some more boxing. Gladwell definitely want to start hitting on some of those kicks as well and exchange just kicks to start off with. Big roundhouse there. Teep, low kick, exchange. It's hard for Gladwell to close the distance when those kicks are coming in. Again, one thing you would want to see from Conway is perhaps a few more punches to actually set up those kicks. He's throwing a lot of naked kicks, but a, a sneaky head kick gets through. He's boxing when he's being forced to box, and I think Gladwell is forcing him to box right now. Yeah, Gladwell trying to force him into the corner here. Nice turn in the clinch, they've been separated. Low kick there from Conway. Conway throwing some nice feints as well with those kicks, but as you said, not a lot of hands at the minute. That's it. I think that uh, Gladwell's done a good job of being the first one throwing a knee when they do enter the clinch. Again, it, it's clearly been his game plan. He knew he was coming in against a rangier, taller fighter. Close that distance, boom, throw the knee straight away. Uh, an errant low shot then. Thankfully, not too much of an impact. Cross. And a head kick there from Conway. He is liking that. He is taking advantage of this height difference. 
again, he said that one of his biggest strengths was his flexibility. The fact that he can get those legs, you know, pretty much from all angles. A Superman punch there. Some style points here for Bista Conway. Gladwell, nice jump in the, on the uh, end of a knee. Low kick again. It's a strong round. Yeah, a good round there from Conway. Landing good kicks, coming in with the knees. Uh, again, I think, you know, as you said, I'd like to see him setting up those kicks a little bit more. Even if it's just, you know, that left jab followed by the right kick. Just give him something to think about rather than just throwing single kicks, you know. Absolutely. It's, it's what we said in the in the previous fight. Obviously, it's about changing those levels. You know, if you're just throwing single strikes, naked strikes as we call them, you know, you've got to set st stuff up with your hands. Um, but again, I think it all comes down to the implementation of the game plan. And I think in that round, Conway may have implemented his a little bit better. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, Gladwell as well, you know, should start trying to go for the body a little bit more. Haven't seen him throw many straight punches to the body, which, you know, against a taller opponent can be a good weapon. Absolutely. You get him covering up the, uh, the midsection, it leaves the head open for those big overhand rights and lefts. Straight away, a low kick from Gladwell. Returned yeah, by Conway. That's three low kicks in a row from Gladwell there, really, obviously trying to, in, trying to go on that lead leg. Oh, an exchange of knees. These are looking like sturdy knees as well from both men. Tipo, oh, counter body shot to your point, Chambers. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Lovely low kick there from Conway. An exchange, goes up top. Another nice low kick there from Gladwell and another. There we go. I think both of these men are going to be having very, very sore left legs tomorrow. Some really nice knees in the clinch as well from both guys. Referee shakes them off in the centre, clinch holds and they separate. Another strong low kick from Ben. These men taking more measured shots as well. Again, I don't, it's a long knee coming in from Conway and a oh, strong team to follow it up. I think, I think Ben has really found his range here. Gladwell yeah. struggling to get on the inside. At the start of the round, Gladwell seems a little bit more happy to try and take a few shots to get on the inside. He's take a shot to give a shot. Backing off a little bit now, seems a little bit more hesitant to come in. Maybe well, because of those big knees. Absolutely. And, that, and that's the thing about this fight game, Chambers, isn't it? Like, in those first couple of rounds, the adrenaline's at its highest. You know, you're the freshest you've been. You can kind of take a few of those shots. But as the fight wears on, you're going to start noticing those. And it definitely makes you a little more gun shy. And I think it might get to the point as well where Gladwell, you know, he might, he might come to the conclusion that the only thing he can do is just bite down on his gum shield, take a few shots and try and get on the inside that way. Um, Absolutely. Conway's really controlling the distance well. He's landing nice kicks. Well, obviously, the, the, the job of the corners, you know, they've got to coach their fighters, but they are taking note of potential scoring on, on the judges. You know, what, what do they think the score is like? You know, some fighters, they need to be told that they're losing. They need to be told that they're behind on the cards to find a little bit of that, that extra fire in the coming rounds. Yeah, Conway off the stall early there. Looks ready for it. And we're in. Low kick starts the round off. And we remove the stool and we are on. Good straight cross to the uh, body from Gladwell. A head nice kick right returned by Conway. Kick. Low kick from Gladwell. Overhand left. Goes for the sweep, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, really good balance from Conway. He seems every time he gets caught, he seems to regain his balance really well. There we go. I'd say it, it is a real strength of Conway that I think he's showing off here is his balance. He does flow from strike to strike. He'll hit a kick. And again, it comes from a lot of his taekwondo background. Uh, he's, he's actually experienced in a few different martial arts. But since you know joining uh, the Beckett team in September, he said he's really focused much more on his Muay Thai. Yeah, he is. You can tell, you know, he, he skips in and out. He, he lands kicks from distance. Uh, nice balance. You know, he, he, those step forward knees he does as well. Like he just landed there. Really nice. Absolutely. Gladwell coming in. Big left hook. He really is trying to close that distance. At the moment, Conway having his way from the outside. It's a switch T. And a step inside kick from Gladwell. That's it. I think... 
Conway is providing a puzzle for Gladwell and he's got a couple of minutes now, mate, well definitely less than, to try and figure that puzzle out. That's a lovely right high kick there as well, followed by and a there it is. Yeah, good end, end of the, the round. round. Leading into our fifth round then. I just said, I think it is a bit of a puzzle that, um, you know, Gladwell's trying to face. He's trying to get on the inside. He's tried to catch the kicks, catch the knees as a way to get in. Uh, and Conway's showing great balance. Uh, that obviously, is, it's going to be very hard to get him swept from there. Obviously, his height advantage helps him a little bit, being able to lean on him. Absolutely. And again, being the aggressor, finding your way on the inside is physically taxing as well. You've got to think about what that will take away from the gas tank. And we are talking about the fifth of five rounds here coming in. Um, what do you think he's got to do different? I think at this point, he's got to be a little bit less hesitant coming in. A few times in that last round, he had Conway backing up a little bit and he kind of hesitated. When you're trying to get on the inside, as soon as you get someone on the back foot, you've got to go forwards. Absolutely. Multiple shots, multiple shots. I think it's you've got to go to the body and you've got to, you've got to bite down on your mouthpiece at this point. There we go. Slightly different to the, to the last two rounds. Ben being the first one to land a strike, but he's in there, he grabs the clinch, he hands on for some knees. He's trying to land those with some vigor. Goes high. Conway catches one. Gladwell catches a knee. Hits that switch teep from the rear side. Low nice kick from low Gladwell. Kick. There we go. Tom sweeps that one aside, Tom takes a knee. Questions if that was low, but Ben's got a fight. You've got to fight to the referee's call. You can see Conway's flexibility as well when he throws those high kicks, he really whips his hip over. Absolutely, what he was trying there, he's really trying to work on some angles now. He's trying to work the angles, he's got to make sure he doesn't get caught with his hands down. Yeah, he tried for the switch knee there, was it a little bit far away. This is where I'd like to see Gladwell really press forwards now, you know, towards the end of the fight. Good low kick there from, from Tom. Catches a kick on the way in, slightly blocked. There we go, both men with intensity in their eyes. Even in this fifth round, they know that this could be the, the be all and end all of their fight here today. Yeah, Conway's still keeping nice distance though. He's moving backwards. Catches a left hand coming in. Tom wading in with big strikes. And there we have the final bell. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the fighters. Lovely show of respect there.